one hour, no budget, at the world's biggest sports card shop. Today, we're doing a spending challenge to see what we can pick up from Burbank Sports Cards in just one hour. All right, so the cool thing about Burbank is they've got like so many different options. They've got alphabetical showcases, new pickups, value boxes for graded cards at different price points, showcases for $100 and up, $100 and less, like just so many different options. So going to, uh, this is gonna be a challenge considering there's 41 showcases in here, there's walls of product. We're really looking for anything and everything that makes the most sense in an hour. And this is, uh, with this much selection, it's definitely gonna be tricky. A lot of stuff you just don't see every day. I mean, this is insane just how much variety there is. I mean, you got Kobe refractors and Troy Polamalu patch autos and then Tatis PSA 10s and 101 Philip Rivers and you know Kobe autos and it's just, it's crazy. The selection here is wild. All right, so I think I found the first thing I'm gonna go after. So they've got an Elijah Moore NT patch auto. So that's the pro, uh, Protégé patch auto. It's numbered to 10, right? Last sale on that's 175, which is what they have on it. Uh, but what it's not noted is that's eight of 10, that's jersey number. So I'm thinking if I can get, maybe get 10% off, get it closer to like 155, 160. I think the jersey number is gonna add a bit of a premium to that. Football's about to start. So I think that could be a play. So I think that's gonna be the first card we're gonna go for. Uh, the Elijah Moore. And can I see the Marcus Allen? Can you just tell me what it's number two? Sure. What's that number on that? I think 10, but I'm not sure. 101. 101? Um, okay, we'll work on it. We'll pull those out for now. Okay. All right, so pulled out the Elijah Moore Protégé, and right next to it was a Marcus Allen Black Auto. Uh, it was listed at 150, and I was curious, is that like at a 5, 3, 101? Like, what is it? It was actually a 101, so we'll pull that out, look that up, see if we like that, but not a bad two cards to start with. All right, so we moved to a different part here. A couple things in these, it's like $100 and under type stuff and some pretty some pretty unique things in here that stand out early. So you got an Austin Eckler patch from Immaculate. Really nice patch. The patch is sick. If it's game used, we'll probably explore that. I'm not optimistic it is, but if it is, we'll go for that. There's a couple decent F1 cards in here that I think could be a play. There's a Demarcus Lawrence patch auto. Uh, there's a few things in this one, but this $100 and under section seems to be a pretty good spot. Can I see if this Eckler is jersey number, or as a game worn? I'm not optimistic it is, but. All right, moment of truth. Oh, it is. It is. Can I, I'm just as surprised. All right, can I keep that out? Yeah. Um, okay, what else is in here? Let's uh, add a few things. Can I see the Steiner? Can I see that auto? Yeah. Can I see the Marshawn contenders in that quad patch? Yeah. Actually, not a bad looking card considering this is uh, 15 years old at this point. I remember searching for these when I was a kid, so I think that's one probably pick up for the PC. This is just something you don't see every day. So it's a quad uh, athlete worn memorabilia. Nunez is the one that stands out to me here, but it's out of 10. You just don't see a ton of these. Uh, this is from 2019 Museum. Again, it's, it's out of 10. I think that could be a, that could be a play. Um, what else we got in here? Can I see the Manning on top? Yeah. It's gold. It's not game used, but it's a Manning from the National. It's a game. It's a multicolored gold patch at a ten. We talk about gold a lot. I think that could uh, that could be a play. Let's see what else we got. All right. So I think both of these, we've sold a couple of different ones of Malik on our website or on our eBay page. So you got a couple different Malik Willis autos. They're, they're Leaf, they're not uh, Panini Legacy or anything, but they're cheap, 30, 40 bucks. I think those uh, might be something we grab and hang on to. All right, so picked out a few things here. We got Elijah Moore, purple at the TL. This is the purple stars. It's out of 25, I was curious. I thought they were a lower number than that this year. It's the insert, not the base. You got a Kyle Pitts patch. It's gonna be one of the top tight ends in the league this year. Gonna be one of the top targets in Atlanta. So I think this could be a play. It's a patch, not a uh, auto, but still a nice triple. Christian Santana, I picked this out because sometimes these gold autos from Leaf, they vary in numbering, but sometimes they can be like one of ones or one of twos. This one's out of five. 
so I'll probably pass on that, but was curious the numbering. And then this, this is just definitely something you don't see every day. This is 08 Classics. So this is Rice, Largent, and Aussie Newsome. Classic Trios, Triple Prime, 14 of 25, and it's game used. It's kind of a cool, unique piece. Again, just something you just don't see every day. So we'll probably end up trying to get those two, and we'll probably pass on these two. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. A lot of cool stuff, just not sure I'm close enough. Anything, let's, anything we want to take a chance on. Sometimes when we're buying other stuff like this and we think we're going to win on one or two pieces, we'll like take a chance on something just to see if it makes sense. You know, sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you miss, but if you're going to make it up on some of the other stuff, sometimes it might, might just make sense to take a chance on something. So we're looking at some wax too, because the cool thing about Burbank is just they have everything. So there's some old school product in here. So 2010 Upper Deck Soccer. Uh, that box has like Tobin Heath rookies. There's a bunch of different uh, U.S. Women's National Team's cards in there. I think it's the year before Alex Morgan, but I ripped a ton of that back in the day. Uh, there was a, like hot boxes and different stuff, so it's, it's a cool product. They got it at 340. I have a, I have a hard time believing that's not a good deal, so we might look at something like that and see if that uh that might make sense. Thank you. Four memorabilia and one autograph in every box. Not sure you see boxes like that anymore. All right, so here's where we come up so far. Halfway in, got an upper deck box. They have a price tag on that about 340. All right, so I found a Rondé Barber Spectra Illustrious Legends. It's cool because it's in Nebula, so it's four of four on card. Got a Jerry Rice Steve Largent patch, 25. I got the Kyle Pitts patch. We talked about that. I think he could be in for a good year. Nice low numbered patch on an expensive product. A couple Malik Willis autos. Again, leave, but some upside if you were to ever do anything. Uh, Manning gold patch, pretty sick patch. Again, gold. Uh, one you just don't see every day. Quad patch out of ten. Contenders auto of Marshawn. That's more of a PC grab, probably. Mazepin. This is just first year Chrome. Uh, eight out of three forty six. I'll probably just stash this. I have so many of the first year Chrome models. I might just end up going for the set. So thought that was cool. Uh, Eckler, immaculate. The only reason I pick this out is just game use. I mean, the patch is sick, and you turn it over, and it says this enclosed game game worn or used material it's just you don't see that anymore neckler doesn't have a ton uh, ian book right out of 40 hoping to get that for 20 bucks and just see what happened nice dual patch in case he ever does anything steiner right just thought this was cool guys on car talk are big hoss guys so figured again grab that also another first year chrome auto joe mauer 101 luke keekley spectra uh, jersey auto he's local and then Kadarius tony gonna be one of the top targets in new york not sure that matters, but for you know, 15, 20 bucks, we'll take a chance. They've got, again, we talked about having everything. So these are some fresh graded cards, 25 to $45. There's five different boxes. So I'm gonna flip through some of these slabs and just see if there's anything that stands out. Oh, that is kind of cool. Yo, Chick, he's from Cleveland. 19 Chrome Auto, maybe not be a, may not be a good deal. I don't think he sells super well, but it's kind of a, Cool card. All right, so found these three going through the first box. Uh, Skywalker, 77 Star Wars sticker five. That's about what it's worth, but just kind of a cool piece. Derek Brooks on card auto from 2019 Chronicles. It's out of 100. It's an eight, don't love the grade. He doesn't sell crazy well, but take a chance. Uh, then Miochik, Chrome Auto, nine. So not a bad start. Man, Ryan Finley, NT True Patch Auto at a 99, has a BGS 8 for $25. This is from 2019 NT, so this box is probably, I mean, what does NT sell for? Thousand bucks a box, two thousand bucks a box in this year. It's that's probably one of the least desirable classes in the last couple of years comparatively to 18, 20, 20. But man. Ryan Finley, man, I would be upset if I bought that box and that's who I pulled. I just found one more card. It's a 2022 Leaf Vibrance, the pre-production 101 of Ronnie Lott. 40 bucks. It's the pre-production. Those don't typically do anything crazy, but 101 auto Ronnie Lott for $40 is just, it's one of those things you just take a chance and see what happens. All right, I'm good on those. This might be sneaky. This could be a play. So you got a Trey Lance out of this world. He's over it's a PSA 8 for 100. 
but it's numbered out of 100. I would imagine that's decent. So a PSA 10 to 255. So that means in, uh, it's probably right at market, but there's no sales on it at all. With the way Lance is, do I want it for 90 bucks? I just think he might win some games. That might be something we take a chance on. I think I found a deal. So you got a Devin Hester 06 Bowman Chrome, right? One of the best all time return man. And he's got a PSA 10 Bowman Chrome in here from 2006. Hester doesn't have a ton of stuff. He's got a decent amount, but not a ton. Uh, last sale was just seven days ago for $113 and they got one in here at 60 bucks. So might not be a bad deal. I think I got another one. So you've got a Marino Sato Gold 2021 Chrome Auto from F1. A raw one just sold two days ago for 50 bucks, and they have a PSA 9 at 50. So that's probably not bad for a true chrome gold auto. The things you'll do for deals, get on the floor and look upside down in a showcase just to find a good card, just to see if something's numbered. So going through the new arrivals raw over 100 showcase, there's a couple sneaky things in here. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to spend some time. We're, we're running out of time here, but I want to spend a little bit of time looking some stuff up quickly so that I can make a couple decisions in here because this showcase, I think, has some sneaky stuff in it. There's some hockey. There's some one on one Hall of Fame baseball stuff. There's some UFC, uh, some WWE. Uh, there's just so much variety in here, but I think there's a couple sneaky plays in here. First one I think is going to be the Shawn Michaels. This is a Shawn Michaels WWE Select Auto. They have 300 on it. I'm going to shoot for the 260, 270 range. Uh, so if we can get that at that, the last one at auction did over $350 at bids. So I think that leaves a little bit of, of room there. So probably try to make a play on that one. There's another one over here. It's a Eric Lindros Limited Logos Patch Auto in a Rangers uniform. They got 350 on it, hoping to get it closer to the three mark, but it's a nice patch auto and limited logos have always sold well, especially in basketball, but in hockey, you just don't see them very often. I think because of that, that could make that a, uh, a pretty good play. And then another one I found, there's a uh, Figurado. I don't even know how to say the last name, uh, but it's a one of one immaculate walkout pants, right? They have 220 on it. One out of eight just sold for that same price, and it's out of eight. This is a 101. Some of his other 101s have sold for hundreds of dollars. So I think that could be a, uh, a play. There's a lot of stuff in this showcase that I think makes a lot of sense. All right, got to be quick here. Just going to run out of time. Want to make sure I can buy as much as I can before we run out of an hour. That's always the hard part, even when we did value boxing, just running out of time. So go through this really quickly. You wanna try to save some time so I can go through. I notice there's cheap slabs under 20 bucks, so I wanna check that out. A couple things stand out here. There's a Alonzo uh, Ball rookie flawless patch auto that has a sick patch. I can't find any sales on it, but last year's flawless patch autos do about 200. They have 275 on that. So I think that could be a really sneaky play just considering there's nothing available. And then there's also a Tyrese Maxi Prism. It's a blue rookie. They have 300 on it. I think the last sale is like 275. But as basketball comes up, I think that has potential going into the season. So these are probably going to be the two I look at before we move on there real quick. Okay. So I'm actually going to pass on the Lonzo. I thought it was a rookie. It's not its second year, but I think I'm going I'm to go with that. Okay. Thank you. Yep. So last but not least, as we wrap this up, if there's any last minute cheap slabs we want, They've got six or seven, it looks like, different boxes of cheap slabs, $20 or less. Those are always really popular in our shop. I know we sell a ton of that stuff and whatnot, so just figured we would flip through this, see if there's anything that makes sense. That's kind of cool. I might pick that up. You no know, college stuff we talk about, it doesn't like hold value long term once the pro stuff comes out typically, but like when you see unique stuff like this, so it's a Drew Bledsoe. This is from 2001. It's an alma mater game-worn patch out of 50. BGS9. There's, Bledsoe's got a decent a decent following and the college, you know, somebody probably clicks. <clears throat> Washington State, I think is where this is from. Yeah, Washington State. Phew. Unless I can guess myself. Uh, so I figured somebody might have interest in that. So that might be a cool piece to try to move. Another, not a million dollar card, but this is just too cool to pass up. So this is 2012 Prism Al Harrington Green. So first year prison basketball in the green are retail exclusive parallels. 
So, kind of a neat card from first year Prison Basketball. PSA 9 for 15 bucks. All right, so went through a couple of the $20 and under boxes real quick, just because we're running out of time. Got a Chase Young, PSA 9. I got a Al Harrington, talked about that first year. Prism Green, the uh, Patch of Bledsoe. Jamar Chase, rookie, PSA graded for 15 bucks. Uh, Scope, KPJ for that. Kaepernick numbered rookie, 9. Barkley, I mean, it costs double that to grade with SGC. Uh, it's not a huge card, but SGC 10, I think that might sell for a few dollars more than that. Uh, and then two more first year Prism Green Retail PSA 9. So, again, not big names, Marshawn Brooks and Malcolm Lee, but I do think those first year Prisms will, uh, will have a following, so pick those up. So, let's see what our damage is. I added up just under 20,000. <laughs> a good number. A <laughs> number. I thought he was being serious at first. I'm just trying to be helpful <laughs> here. All right, 1330. This could get expensive. Steve, I think there's another pile. Ryan? Yep. I would say this is really, really light. They're hiding it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's where some of the bigger stuff was. I was like, I know there's some actually big stuff. That's in included here. in the 10,000. <laughs> oh, it's 10. I thought it was 20. No, today it's on special. All right, 17.30 before we get to the expensive stuff. Yikes. Good thing we didn't have a budget this time. This is going to get expensive quick. Almost to $4,000. This is expensive. $3,775 sticker. You all ready? Yep. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Cash would be $33.97. Cash. Let's do it. Okay. Don't spend it all at one Thank place. you. I'll okay. try not to. Spread it out, you know. Put it in. Go so ahead. we were literally, the Uber's about to be here, and he came out and said that there was a pile that they missed. Button. So 33.97 turned into a little bit more. 110, 210, 310. 324 more dollars. That puts us like almost four grand. Uh, There's three. Did you come up with 324 or something? Yeah. Do you have change? Yeah. Make it 320 because you have to come back in. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it, Steve. You have a good one. You good too. To see you you too. All right, guys. So that is a wrap here on our first spending challenge with no budget at the world's biggest card shop. We picked up quite a bit. We spent $3,717 in total. And I think that's kind of crazy considering we've done value box challenges where we have to spend $200 an hour. This time was over three grand, nearly $4,000. Picked up a ton. I want to show you guys some of what we got. So again, they had this at 340. We ended up getting 10% off everything. So 34 bucks off of that. We paid just over $300 for this. This is the, again, the 2010 Upper Deck Hobby. You don't see these. There's a comp on eBay for over 400 bucks. I think that's a unique box. Again, you just don't see very often. We'll probably keep this in the sealed wax stash for a little while, but uh, maybe we'll do a throwback Thursday break with that one day. And then picked up uh, this for the PC for sure. Marshawn Lynch, 07 Contenders. Uh, liked that a lot. Again, talked about that earlier. All right, so then we got a Nikita Mazepin first year Chrome Auto. It's funny, they, they had two of these in the showcases. One at 85, one at 20. I figured for 20 bucks we'd grab it and just throw it in the set. Then you got a Kadarius Tony. That's an RPA from Absolute. Again, we talked about him. Maybe some potential this year. Same thing with the in book. Just cheap, low risk, uh, potential upside plays. There's the Austin Eckler game use patch, Joe Maurer 101 tribute, Elijah Moore, uh, talked about that a lot in the video, but I think the jersey number, nice bold auto, multicolor patch, I think that could be a play. Then you got a Marcus Allen 101, we talked about this but didn't show it. I like the black team color match there, one of one auto of a great running back, I thought that was cool. Then there's the 101 UFC Reebok uh, walkout pants patch, I think kind of cool. Again, I think we'll... Uh, We'll do pretty well on that. All right, then you got other stuff like a Steve Carlton patch auto, one of one from Top Sterling, five piece game used patch auto. It's pretty sick. Couple hockey cards, couple Eric Lindros cards that I think could be sneaky. You got a scripted swatches, sick patch auto, and the limited logos patch auto. Both really nice patches, both. Rangers jerseys. I think these are uh, I think these are gonna be pretty good. So we got two hockey there, and then we even got WWE. How about a Shawn Michaels uh, with the HBK inscription right down there at a 25. So not uh, 
not bad. I mean, quite the auto. I mean, that, there's a lot going on in that, but again, cool card. Some more stuff. We talked about a lot of this. This is the quad UFC patch, Manning, Keekly. Uh, there's the Tyrese Maxi. That's that Prism rookie blue. I think Maxi stuff is uh, is a play going into the year. And this is a, uh, uh, it's at a 199 numbered Prism, but it's actually in decent shape. Could be a great potential. Uh, Steiner F1, that's for the PC. Got the Ronde Barber. I love the marble parallel there. Uh, Rice, large at Newsom. Again, just stuff you don't see very often. Kyle Pitts, building blocks. Multicolor patch at a 10. A couple Malik Willis autos. I think these are going to be very, very cool. These are, uh, these are pretty unique. There's two of them. It's Roy Holiday, Nolan Ryan, and Felix Hernandez. Triple autos from Triple Threads. I feel like at 450 for the pair, that's going to end up being pretty solid. I think the cheapest one I saw online was at like an HGA custom slab up for 500 bucks. Um, you just don't see these pop up very often. Roy Holiday, rest in peace. But you got three all time great pitchers. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Are Holiday and Felix, are those guys even, are those guys in the conversation for what, top 25 all time pitchers, would you guys say? I know Nolan Ryan's, you know up there in the conversation for the GOAT. But again, just stuff you don't see very often. I think that's what we try to pick up a lot of during this was uh, that unique stuff. And I think those fall into that category. Now here's the stack we had to go back and get. We talked about it on the episode, but you got like a Lewis, that's a Chrome Purple. For 45 bucks, I'll probably just add that to the PC. Numbered first year Chrome of Lewis, PSA graded. Then these, these are gonna be end up being a pretty good deal. Kamara XRC rookie graded nine for 50 bucks. I saw raw sales near 100, so I think those could be a play. Here's the Trey Lance. This is one that's a little bit riskier. It's 14 out of 100. It is an eight. There's a PSA 10 sale over 250, uh, but I think Lance stuff is going to be desired going into the season, and it's already graded. Then there's this uh, Sato Chrome Gold Auto, numbered 35 out of 50. And then the Devin Hester, again, one of the all-time punt returner, kick returner guys uh, for 54 bucks is a 10. I think there's a ton of potential there. Couple cheap slabs. You guys saw those at the end. The Prism, the Kaepernick, the Chase Young, the KPJ. And then, again, some $25 to $45 stuff with the Skywalker, the Derek Brooks, the uh, Ronnie Lott, and the Stipe Miocic. Uh, pr Tops Chrome Auto. So, a lot of a uh, lot of stuff. Some some stuff that was high end. I think the most expensive card we bought was like three hundred and fifty bucks. A uh, bunch of one hundred and fifty to two hundred fifty dollar cards. Some cheap slabs. But I think that's what's cool about Burbank is just the variety, right? You've got the under twenty dollar slabs. You've got the fifty dollar slabs. You've got raw here, graded there, high end here. Like there's just so much. We didn't even get to see half of it. Uh, picked up a box, picked up plenty of PC stuff, some stuff to grade, some stuff to sell. So a lot of stuff, but I think this will uh, this will be fun to do it again at some more card stores across the U.S. here very, very soon. Uh, so stay tuned for that. But for now, guys, that's all I got. Peace, guys.